Hello, so I'm going to quickly show you how to do copy and paste of triggers. So you, when you create the trigger with all the conditions and effects in it, you just right click trigger and you press copy and then you press right click over here and you press paste. It's that easy. Just kidding. That feature is not in Age of Empires. You can't just simply copy triggers. So I'm going to show you an effortlessly way to do copying the triggers. So let's just mark some terrain so it's a little bit easier to create these triggers in location. So let's do uh, a cow whose milk became everyone's favorite cheese at the craft fair, but cheese only lasts so long. The do a rock. business makes needs to last or much road. longer. Road. Okay. That's why Vista Print is do a small road. Somewhere within there. Starting at 999. We're going to triggers and we're going to do a condition type of company or upload your own. Where we're in trigger 0. The time is now. We're going to get 500 business cards starting at 999 with promo code objects in area. We're going to create at vistaprint.com. Vistaprint, own the an object and Join Planet Fitness setting the February area 12th, we want when a unit goes into their player one and the quantity of greater than today, one just a unit Planet doesn't matter Fitness. object Join group, object Planet type, or object list today. Hurry, this just a unit of this. one from player one Go into this area team. we're going to spawn create an object an archer in player one and we're going to set location right there we don't want to put it within the location because if the unit's standing on that square, it won't spawn the unit. So we're going to do it there. So yeah, so now we got player one doing this, but we want every single player to have this effect. When, when they walk here, they get a unit. Um, so this would be great if we just cop this trigger eight times and just change the player. But we can't do that. So what we have to do is um, pretty much do what we just did eight times. That's where the macro recorder or mouse recorder comes in. Where since what you're going to do to create the other seven triggers are exactly the same as the first trigger, trigger zero, you just record what your mouse does and play it. So I'm going to start a new one. Go to here. We're going to go to new trigger with a new condition. And we're going to do an objects to area, and we're going to do quantity of one, and then we're going to do a new effect where we create an object. I'm not going to set the areas because it gets complicated to record those loops. So we're just going to, well first I got to do, um, no I think that, that's good to stop the loop. So it's not the perfect recording but it, I think it's right where it should just work. Uh, creating a new trigger, new condition, um, object scenario, we want a quantity of one, and then we're going to have an effect of it where we create an object, and we're going to set the location. So yeah, now we have a template of what we need. I'm going to press escape to stop it. But, uh, yeah, now I can go here, change this to player 2. And it's going to spawn a player 2 object. And here is going to be player 3. And I'm going to do a 3 player 3 object. Now, I didn't set the areas yet, that's why they're still red. But you can see how you can save yourself some work. Now, we got to do this another five times so we're going to go five and let's see if we can handle doing it twice as fast sometimes it doesn't because how you make your recorder doesn't allow the computer to respond fast enough so let's see if twice enough is fast enough and we do five more recordings so new condition um objects and area quantity of one it's doing twice as fast and again this is not me doing this this is the um macro recorder or mouse recorder This is the best time that anyone shot, just watching the computer work. It's like working on a CNC machine, pressing the code, and watching the machine cut the part. Um, I've used this method in work. I've used this method in school when creating a stock market trading system. It is great because, look, I'm just effortlessly making these triggers, and I don't got to do anything. Look, it just keeps going. I'm just going to do all five. 
If I want 500 of these, I could press 500 and then walk away for an hour. Or however long it takes to do 500 loot. And all the triggers will be there, and I just gotta set the location. I save so much after so much time. Um. Yeah. Very cool. So. Copy and paste. Page Rap Virus 2. Copy and paste and trigger. Try to do it. Creating the same trigger over and over so we can get the same logic in each player's perspective. Um, they probably didn't utilize the copy and paste to make campaign so much because it was always with respect to the first player. First player goes here, this is what happened. The first player goes here, this is what happened. So really, it, it's always about the first player, typically, when making campaigns for single player. Hobby. And so on. I'm just kind of rambling now, talking about the copy and paste. It's, oh yeah, it's done. Because look, got eight triggers there. Set them up. Copy and paste, Agent Bryce. There you go. 